Ladies and gentlemen, we have decided to finish what we started in Wisconsin. The first thing that I need to do is going to be a little bit more housekeeping. Um, housekeeping. <laughs> you want me to fluff your pillows? Anyway, um, I'm going to pull back all the trucks that we have out. Eh. Because now I was doing this, I think, by myself before. This, I think, was before Micah and Javius joined me to do these. Um, or Micah, maybe... No, maybe you guys were helping on this. Yes, yeah, yeah, I think we were. Let's see what we got. We just quit because everything else came out. We got so far behind. Okay, we've got... What do we got? we got a Paystar, a Brigadier, the Wisconsin truck. The was it? The 512... There's a Lodestar, there's a Twin Steer, oh, or the Paystar, okay. There's also some trucks out in the map. If that uh, Paystar 5600 TS. Yes. So, yeah, I was working with you guys on this map. Okay, that's probably the one that you were using then, is black and white. Like, because I now, I, I mean, I'm able to buy it, and I've never gone to this map on my own. So, yep. Uh, the realtor wasn't coming till tomorrow, but we pushed it off two weeks. We decided that we were just going to get the whole house together, take him, yep, and then have the realtor come out because she's already told us what we need to do. So it's like there's really no point in making her come out to our house. Um, I'm going to recover this back. You know what I think it was? I think I used to make this a no-no. Like, I don't think I ever showed on video us bringing the trucks back or going in and out and stuff like that. Like, I think we just, I always edited that out. So now that we're just kind of free-forming and trying to get through this, I don't, I'm not that picky anymore. Was that you, Micah, with the, 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 uh, Navistar? Yeah. <laughs> what a great truck. But it's, I can never see when I use it because it blows so much smoke. <laughs> when I want something done quick and I don't care how I do it, I grab this baby. Yep. Yep, so I'm going to try to continue nightly streams as long as I possibly can. Um, just Moni and I, what we're doing is we're making a list of things that need to get done each day. And then we're going, we're shooting to get those finished. And then when we're done, we're done. So that way we're not like burning ourselves out. Because, like, last night I worked till about 2 o'clock in the morning cleaning down here. And it's really nice, but it took me. And then this morning I woke up and cleaned upstairs for hours and hours and hours and hours. And so now I've had some chicken nuggets and I've had a big bottle of water and I'm about to get some more. Hey, Pat Dog. I'm actually probably moving closer to you. <laughs> so we can be we can be close buddies. All right. I'm going to recover. Leave garage. I'm just trying to get all the trucks together. So I will be moving about. We found one property that we really like in Kentucky. The house is kind of in a scary mess condition. Um, and it will need work. Um, the price is probably, hopefully, within our price range. Uh, and leaving us money left over to work with. Along with, um, you know, obviously, as soon as I get there, I'm going to be looking for jobs. So, uh, plus I'll still have the weddings and stuff. Um but it is a gorgeous 27 acre property it sits between two hilltops which are part of the property it's all uh fenced in it, it is being used currently as a cow pasture and it has a house on it and a couple barns but we'll be converting that over to do horses so um and then Moni's going to continue doing her horse business but this time we'll own the property instead of somebody else owning us and charging us rent so that will help us tremendously. So it's, I think this time it'll be successful because we were close to being successful before. We just, the guy had a $3,000 rental bill to use the barn. We will no longer have that. So that'll make it <coughs> mostly profit. <laughs> we'll see. But I'm also going to, like I said, I'm going to be trying to get some work in town there. And it's just an absolutely beautiful property. The house is kind of scary, though. It's going to need work. But it's, it's affordable. All right, fellas, I have um, I have to deliver a locomotive to the loading station. Javius, what do you know about this locomotive? In the game or? Yes. 
Uh, nothing. There's a diesel locomotive. Okay. It's on the other map. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the – if you, you guys can work on any missions you want. Do you, do you guys – anybody want anything enabled? Just pick a mission that you want me to do. Um, Just taking the ice tires off of my Okay. Trucks. I'm going to put you on um, – Preferably not logging. I did enough of that last time. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm going to have you restore tracks. There you go. I've. Okay. It's called restoring the tracks. I'm doing weightlifting. <clears throat> yes, we have moved on to Wisconsin. We are done finally with Alaska. There's a couple little side tasks that Micah's going to go back and finish later. But Micah's done a great job. He went through and got all the tasks done except for maybe like two or three of them. So... All right, so where do I need to go? This is probably the easiest way to follow the main road. So we'll turn right and go that direction. So I'm going to just, I, we're going to have to roll out there twice, which kind of sucks. But I want to roll the uh, Ford F-150 or the F-750 out there to take a look. And see what we're dealing with. Boy, if I could find one of these, man. Wouldn't it be great to find an F-750? What a cool truck. They're huge. So how's everybody doing out there in SnowRunner TV land? Man, you two boys are quiet tonight. Jeez. <laughs> oh, what? sorry. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> And how to get there the best. Okay, and if tell me if you need anything activated, Mike, just let me know. Well, I'm going to do the tasks first, so... All right. I'll go get those done. Oh, dude, why did you get shots in your hip? What the heck? Sorry to hear that, Cameo. Oof. So do you actually pull the train or do you can you do you lift it? That's why that's why I want to go look at it. I want to see what I'm dealing with. Unfortunately, I don't think I have access to any of the Russian trucks. They're all Oh, me and Javius got some. <laughs> I'll be like, "Micah, can I borrow your Absolutely. Big, your big Russian truck." Is, do you want? Is that what you want? I'll go get it out. Oh no, I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I okay. don't. Not, I want to once again look at it and see if it's if I'm just pulling it or if I'm lifting. It sounds like they're being pulled, but I believe the American Darth cranes Spectre. are strongest. I believe. Okay. But they do have that new crane. Remember, the big, the big one. Yeah. That goes on the uh, beefy truck, the Kenworth. Yeah. On the Kenny, hi, Darth Specter. Okay, so any truck will do then. You pull it down the track <clears throat> to the yard or whatever it's called. Oh, so you don't actually put it on a truck? Well, okay, then I'm just going to park this and we'll get a puller. Thank you thank you for the sub drug tumbler. I appreciate it. Wait, Six months. Anybody, uh, yeah. Does anybody know anything about the... <clears throat> Rail sections, how big they are? Uh, um, I are think they you five? Need, I think they're threes or fours. They're big. Yeah. I've been doing well, drunk tumbler. I mean, it's been. It's but I think but... I stacked a bunch of them on uh, just a regular truck, and I just picked <laughs> them up and dropped them down on the spot. Let's see. We'll go back to the base and take a look at what we. Oh no, that's you guys. Okay. I believe that's how you you deliver them. Is you actually? I think you pick them up and drop them in the section. I think, if I remember correctly. So who has Micah? Who? What trucks have good power to weight? Good power to weight? Yeah, like if I wanted to pull a train engine. Well, you want some mass because a light truck isn't going to get enough oomph that when you. Um, I'm thinking the 512. I have the crane on the back. It's got weight. Uh, the only problem with that is there's not 
if I'm trying to remember correctly, I think I think you want skinny tires, not dualies, because some of the track sections are pretty thin. Oh, ew. Um, <laughs> like you where you have to pull it. Height. You want some height because you might have to go up and over the tracks. Um, let me see here. Yeah, Beaver Town's thinking maybe even up to five slots for those rails. Thanks, it Beaver could Town. be. I remember it doesn't, they don't look long, but I remember they are long. I stacked mine in a two slot trailer. I just put all, I just stacked them all on top of each other and then put the crane down on them and then drove down the track. <laughs> Maybe if I do the 512 without the crane on it. Are you thinking, oh, you know what? Maybe this is the perfect job for the Kenworth 990, the truck that everybody loves to hate. I was thinking a good truck might be the, um, the, uh, let me, where is it? It's Chavius's favorite. <laughs> the Paystar uh, 5600 TS. You think so? Because I, well, let me let me look. I don't know if you can put a big crane and then the. I know you can put a service trailer, or a service part and a a fifth wheel or a, a saddle low on it. It just depends if you can put it. Uh, see, it's putting the crane all the way in the back. Yeah, but I don't think I need any of that. I'm just dragging the train. Oh, you're gonna drag it. That's what they said That's you have right. to do. Is you drag it down the right? Rails. But you have to have the tracks. You have to have the tracks done first. It didn't seem to, it wasn't locking me out saying that had to be done first. Okay. So what do you think? Should it, you think that the, the, that the, um, five twelve is a good option or the pay star? Well, I was thinking for the tracks, the pay star might've been good because you could put the big crane on it or the, you, I don't think you need the big crane, but yeah, I'm not the nice thing about the back of it is it's right. really Okay, so I think that for this mission, then I really do think that maybe that the Kenworth is probably the best deal because it's got good power to weight ratio. Um, I'll have to buy one because I sold them all. Dang it, <laughs> truck store. See, the nice thing about a P sixteen is once you get that truck moving, the it's so heavy that when the when the slack comes off of that train, but the problem with the P sixteen it's so it's wide, so wide. Yeah, yeah, that's, it'll be yeah. hard to go down the side of the tracks. We're going to try. Think, I think I used the Zix. This is what I think I used. I'm going to use the Prime Engine and I'm going to put in an off road gearbox. Yeah, the Zix, of course. I'm trying to stick to American trucks, but it doesn't have to be, but I'd like it to be. Yeah, I, I get it. You said the Kenworth tires are better, right? The, the best tires for the Kenworth? I believe they are. I'm thinking, I wonder if the ank would be the best to pull that stupid train. <laughs> it's only, it's, it's an S, it's not an S+. plus. I want to put some weight on the back. Maybe... Um, you know what might be really good? Oh, it's too heavy. What's that? The, the twin steer. <laughs> yeah, I probably. I mean, it's got gobs of horsepower. You know, and it's it's got the big tires that puts it way up in the in the air. I think I'm gonna try. I, I do want to. I'm gonna try the 990. But I, just I think the see twin steers motor is the same that's in the Ank. That's what I'm checking. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, see, it's only an A plus. The V16 2430. It's not an S, but that's weight weight issue though as well. Let's see. Oh, this has a... Oh, that's cool. Is that new? There's only an eight. I don't like those bumpers. All right. All right. <laughs> well, you are using the 47X. So you probably don't want to use that again. Yeah, I'm going to try it. We're, we're going to try the, the, the truck everybody loves to hate. Hey, yeah. Try it. I mean, we, we might as well. I love this truck. I don't. I don't understand why everybody hates it so much. I Ooh, think that's it, cool. To me, it looks to like a toy. It does. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. You know, the front end looks really toyish. 
I think it's cool looking. <laughs> Do you feel that way about the new T680 in American truck? Oh, look, there's one too. Hello. Is that you, Javius, and the other one? Yep. I can't believe we picked the same colors. That's hilarious. That's so. Darth Spectre likes his Goliath. All along. Are they? Oh, the mod Darth Spectre? I loved that mod. Goliath. The Goliath truck. I love the cabin of this truck. So where are you headed, Arthur? You to the other map? I'm going to go to the other map and pull the train. Plus, the other thing I like about the Kenny is that it gets good gas mileage. I hope people are starting. I know, I guess they buffed it, didn't they? That's right, Wisconsin. Oh, I said... I left at the end of Alaska on my on my title. I'm sorry, guys. I was supposed to say we're now Wisconsin, but that's okay. You guys are here to visit anyway, so it's still SnowRunner. I don't know. Is there a garage on the other map? That's a really good question. I guess we'll find out, Beavertown. I, I thought we did, now that you say that. Durr. Dark Spectre is also in Wisconsin. Ugh, I don't want more snow. It was so nice today. Yes, very nice. I have to get my hot tub emptied out, and I wanted to do it when there wasn't going to be any more freezing, but I might have to... Yeah, it's going to be, one. Well, I think, one more time of freezing. Oh, you live in Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, probably just do it anyway and be sorry later. Well, as soon as I get money for chlorine, I'm going to refill it and, and start over again. Because I want it to be running when people look at the house so they can see, oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. You know. When is the snow coming again? I think I watched the. I think next week we're gonna get down at least here. They said around the twenties. Next week, okay. Yeah, next week. I think that'll be. That might be the end. I don't. It's it's hard to tell because, you know, around here, man, March comes around. Yeah, and it could snow again for sure. It could snow again. Yeah, in March. So. It's hitting there tomorrow. What? Oh no. I know we're getting big storms tonight, but I don't know. I'm so lost on this map. Oh, look at that's cool. I forgot about all that. That's right. This is where we had to build all these bridges, right? Mm -hmm. I think we'll get through these missions pretty quick. Once again, we're polishing off America. <laughs> oh. I really oh. should have put a better transmission in this. Which tr uh, what did you put in it? I just got the stock transmission. Oh. <laughs> it's got diff lock, so I should have put a high range in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this an all the time diff? Okay, I didn't realize that. What's up, Frode? I really hope I don't have to build all these rail sections. There's three, I think. It's not. It's not bad. You just well, drive up next to it. Six <laughs> for this mission. Well, it's funny when I asked Frode, I, 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 I asked him like, how do you pronounce that? Like, because it's, it's, it's obviously unique to America. We don't have names like that. And he's like, just like Frodo. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh well, that, that's that makes it easy. Because I love the Hobbit. What a great story.
Oh. You know what's weird about the the movie The Hobbit? I didn't watch the movie. I love I love the book. Yeah, the books are great. But when they made this is what's weird. To me, the some of those move some of those parts were so long it was agonizing. But yet, yeah, yeah, they dragged I everything out. Like, I felt like the movie was short. It's yeah, it's you know interesting, I mean? right? It's, it's like, like they dragged like the parts, all. Right, the parts I wanted more to know more about were short, and the parts that it's like, okay, yeah, I get the point. Let's move on. We're so long. Right. <laughs> like, did we really need six hours of? Orcs chasing hobbits because like that was not the book in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, like they had when, they had uh, moments of that, the, but remember the 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 forest they went into? I'm trying to what was it Bumblebill Bob or something? I can't remember the guy's character's name. Oh, Tom Bombadil. Yes, I wish they would have spent more time with him and who he was and yep. the forest. Or be no That's Bjorn. Right. You're thinking of Bjorn, like where they gave him he gave him the honey. He's the he's the man that turns into a bear. That's what you're thinking maybe, of. Yeah, maybe him. But the other one, too. The, he well, was, Tom Bombadil was in the yeah. Lord of the Rings, not The Hobbit. Oh, was he? Okay. Yeah, that's at the beginning. That's Frodo and his pals. They fall asleep in the barrows, and Tom Bombadil rescues them. That None of that's in the movies. Okay. Yeah. See, I, I didn't get any of that. I was just like, I wanted to know more about him. Yeah, because he's a very inter- he is an interesting character. Yeah. He's always been there. Oh, I see the train here, too. Boy, this rain, I don't remember seeing... I guess it does rain on the other mass. This is a, more of a... This feels like an Ohio rain, which it should because it's Wisconsin. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mods. What? 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 Oh, I went to Carabas, buddy. Oh, man. I love Carabas. Next time you're in Toledo, I'll take it out of Carabas. I just I get the chicken parmesan oh, with I Alfredo. Got chicken marsala. Oh, those good too. Yeah, that's what I got: chicken marsala and um, uh, some coffee. <laughs> that sounds good. And they they have you know, that, the the bread. Don't care what anybody says, Dad, you're the best. <laughs> he's poor. He's yeah, that's plenty. He just came in with a bag of corn nuts and poured them on a plate. <laughs> he's like, here you go, Micah. Yeah. I got great folks. You do. I do. You like the things they put up with. <laughs> That's like, true. They kept me out of a nursing home my whole life. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Are you through? Did you already pass through to the next map? Me? Yeah. No, I, I'm I'm over in this map. Okay. Are there tasks over there need to be done? I'm on getting other greens, probably. I don't think we got. Yeah, maybe we did a bunch. We're on the first map, right? This is the first map where where we started. Yes. Yeah, Greenwoods is the second one, and that's where I'm headed. Welcome to the mountains of Wisconsin. (laughs) What? What? Since when? (laughs) Mountains of Wisconsin aren't they called overpasses? Right. (laughs) Overpass. Did you see that view? That was like Colorado. What the heck, dude? Why do they? I just, I still, some of the things that they chose in this game are just dumb. Um, there's a bunch of tasks on here, Micah, that still need doing. Okay, let me, I'll do these first. I'm just looking to see if there's a trail. Oh, there is a garage on this map. What? Well, it was nice to revisit and drive anyway. Sorry, guys. Next time we'll just start here. That's nice that there's a garage on this map, though. And now we know. The more you know. The less you have to put up with. The re- <laughs> yeah, these... these I, I don't know. Who, he, you're from Wisconsin, Dar Specter. Um, does this look like Wisconsin to you? Because the Wisconsin I've been to, and I've been quite a ways through Wisconsin... Looks a lot more like fields, forests, and cows, and some lakes. Wait a minute. There's, no, there's mountains in Wisconsin, aren't there? Like this? With well, the, like like pine forests? Uh, maybe along okay. the very northern border? Yeah, right. he said I would imagine. Uh, well, look at Michigan. 
Yeah, Michigan doesn't have anything like this either. I've been all over even, Michigan. Yeah. Even the Upper P? I've been through the Upper Peninsula. I've been to, to Sault Ste. Marie. I've been to St. Ignace. I've been to Petoskey. I've been to, uh, what is it, the Whitefish Bay. I mean, I've been... Uh, nothing looks like this up there. <laughs> Uh, pine forest, yes. Dirt tracks, yes. Oh, there's a lot of that up there, but it's just swamp. You know, you know what does look like Michigan? Those that lake. Remember Lake Island, the swamp. Yeah, that's what a lot of Upper Peninsula looks like. Mm. The Dells, the okay, W A C Dells. Well, maybe. You my, said what? <laughs> my experience with Michigan is pretty limited. I will be honest about that. I because my cousin and my aunt live up there, and then I also um, what is this? Hold on a second. And I've also got a lot of um, oh, I've done vacationing up there and stuff. It's be Michigan is beautiful. It's actually uh, um, <sighs> um, sorry. Uh, it's it's a very beautiful area. Michigan is gorgeous. Right. And then, you know, you do have like painted rock, pictured rocks or whatever they are where the, the rocks are all painted with. But they're small. They're not giant mountains like this. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can see maybe the very top edge of Wisconsin, like where it joins. No, because Iowa's not. I don't know. None of these states are like this. I it just seems like an over over exaggeration of what it looks like. Okay, how do we get there? I'm just trying to see here. There's we need to go to the right, and then when we get to that puddle, we go to the left and across the tracks. Jeez, oh Pete, there's no like direct way to get here. That's not too bad. Oh, uh, the garage is right next to where I need to go. Right. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's like literally the same for me. I could have. Just started at the garage and been right here. I am glad I brought this uh, top, though, because I think I am going to need... The weight's going to help. Oh, no, this is one of those maps where you tear down the house and put up another house. Nope, it's all three of us. By the way, I think I said hi to you, Jay Wah, but if I didn't... Hi, Jay Wah. I know we've been talking, but I don't think I remember I saying hi. And hi, Richard, by the way. Edgewise. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. I hand the mic to Javius. Oh, I don't actually have anything to say. I'm just complaining about not being able to say it. Really? <laughs> D -d 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 you copied my truck. Nobody will know that it's me anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, but you have a crane on yours. You can barely see it on this truck. It's so big. Yep. So they did buff this truck. I'm not. I am not sure what they did to buff it, but they did buff it. So. If anyone knows what the buff was. Please tell us. And there. And the thing I'm doing is actually down there. But I think we're going to start by driving on the road to get there. And then we'll pull it back. Oh, wow. Bouncy. Every time they introduce a new region, they buff some of the other trucks, right? Well, I think it was that they released this truck, and it was it was mediocre. I liked it, though, but it was a capable truck, but people felt like it wasn't... They didn't want to pay money for a truck that wasn't super. And I understand that. Like, why would I pay money if I'm going to get a truck that I already can get in-game? So they, they definitely buffed it. Um, though, I don't know, I... To me, it's like it seemed like it was fine as it was, but 
apparently they they made some changes to it to make it a little bit stronger. Well, I remember when it came out, and it, the big advantage it had was the tires. And they also released the jet pack at the same time. And I just right. thought this truck was very, very similar to the P five twelve. It is. It's a little bit narrower and a little bit taller, which of course would make it a more tippy. <laughs> but uh, wooden planks and metal beams. This is one of those maps where you probably have to get those or make them, isn't it? Yeah, I have to bring two metal beams and four wooden planks. So the make rails. So the Wisconsin Dells have mountains that are that big, huh? I, I Oh, look at that. It's a Jeep. Dude, an actual American train engine. I'm so used to seeing Euro engines smashed into games. Forty years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you taking off, Jaywa? We'll see you, my friend. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's, it sounded like you were leaving. Like, have fun. See you later. That is, uh, gosh, with those side lights like that. Oh, I guess those are windows, probably. Um. When you guys came through, which gateway did you go in from the other side? Do you guys remember? Not the, one, not the one you went through. You it guys does. Went in the one by the quarry? I, uh, I went to the right. Well, I left the garage. I went to the right. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Hey, wait, I want to see the locomotive. Sorry. I went, to, I will, I'll go back, I'll go back, hang on. Uh, do you see hazardous cargo on the map, Micah? That's the one I came in. Hazardous had, cargo. Yeah, not the one, yeah, not the one by that quarry, but the one, there's a wood framing and a hazardous cargo mission by the tunnel. No, I meant the other map. Oh, I went to the right and passed the gas station and turn left. That's what I was thinking, Red Alpha. Okay, thank you. It's definitely it's definitely an SD. It's a six axle. I thought it was a GP at first, but it's got a, it's got six axles, so it's an SD. I just those those lights on the front of the hood. I don't recognize that. Um, that's cool, though. I like that. I can't believe we get to move it. That's pretty cool. Let's see the back. I want to see how big the... That might be an SD-45. SD-45, okay. Because an SD-40 has a pretty generous section of walkway on each end of the locomotive. The 45 has a bigger engine, so that body got pushed back. Oh, okay. If you look at the front, the, there's like a whole section. I think they used to call them the porches, but... Hey, All right. I'm not moving it. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, what you want to do is you want to go as far away from it as you can, then hook onto it with the winch, then back up to it and get going, and then use your momentum and everything to get that thing started. Once it's started, it's not too bad. It's just getting it started. Okay. I think I used the twin steer is what I think I used. Yeah, because you got a lot bigger wheels. Yep, the bigger wheels. Okay, so. It allows you to go over the tracks back and forth, and you don't get caught on it so much. Or maybe I used the 16. I can't remember. Come on, baby. 
Come on, baby, let the good times there you roll. Go. Yep. yep. Yeah. And it will have a little momentum, so if you do stop or get stuck, it'll keep rolling a little bit. So Will it bump me and keep me? Oh, it's making the train noise as it comes down the tracks. That's cool. That's it, it, so cool. Look at that. Oh, man, I love it. Next see, thing you know, they're going to be... you're going through? That's why I said a skinny truck. Yep. Look at these stupid trees. He <laughs> said, don't go fast. I'm afraid if I stop, though, we'll never keep going. <laughs> You're probably right, though. We'll do low plus. Look at that. As long as you keep moving, you'll be all right. Will it derail? Um. Yeah, I think it can. What do you do then? I think he has a crane, or you restart the mission. One of the two. Oh wow! This is really. Crooked. Yeah, I think I did derail it. Oh, she is. Okay, this side of the track's got a little deep. Um, and my truck decided it was time for a nap. <laughs> Get up. Wake up. That's like me. It's like 6 o'clock. I'm like, I need to lay down for a minute. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Train. Wow, this is a nice truck. Which truck are you driving now? I grabbed the one like you got. I know, they're it's a great it's a great looking truck too, but I like the way it handles. I mean it, it can be tippy. It could be tippy, but Not bad though. I put the fine tune uh <laughs> That's cool in it. It's doing really good. Oh wait, I need to go forward, that's right. So I need momentum. Attach the winch. The winch. The plane. <gasps> All right. Oh, I, you know, chuck it, chuck it, I wish it. this truck had a, uh, an active suspension. Oh, uh, stupid. All right, we're going up on the tracks now. Ooh, free. Yeah, I'd have a hard time putting popcorn in my mouth, too, if I was munching or watching VR. I'd probably throw up, actually. There's some phones that have VR. I know iPhone has a VR thing that you can use. Man. We got a good viewership tonight. Hi, everybody. Loving every minute of it. Loving every minute of it. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Turn that dial all the way. No. Oh. Progress goes I, boink. Uh, yeah. Hey, I did the same exact thing. Shizzle got a sticks. Really close by. Yeah, the good news is the garage is just down the street. Dead <laughs> <laughs> derp. <laughs> oh god. And of course, all my trucks are at the on the other map. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to go over to the other map. I think we're going to try to finish this with... I think the Paystar is a better choice on this case. <laughs> so we're going to grab the Paystar and we're going to pull it through the funnel of thingy. The magical transport truck thingy. So we'll do this. We're going to recover. And we're going to put it in truck storage. There we go. All uh, right. It's in truck storage. Okay. And then we're going to go to our global map. And hello, by the way, Truck Ram. Nice to meet you. See ya. Not meet you. Say, see y'all. Soul. Global map. No. Okay, there we go. Green River. And we're going to go to the garage. How's your car nuts? Fantastic. 
one pack. <laughs> <laughs> Corn nuts. Oh, I got to be night fast. Jeez. This thing has a little bit of a lower center of gravity, so it probably will help us get it done a little bit easier. Plus the added traction of 10 more wheels. <laughs> Couldn't help. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. But actually, this is going to take us right by it. So, Oh, oh, that's interesting. The Fem has the highest torque. Well, and it's slow, but yeah, that's you don't need to go fast. Which one does? The, the Fem. Yeah. I know you guys don't like that articulated steering. I like the Fem. I thought it was pretty good. What do you mean you guys? I never drove it. Oh. I thought you didn't like it either. The femmel truck. <laughs> uh, I'll go around okay. this way. The tattern. <laughs> Yeah, the Tattern will pull that sucker, no problem. Really? It's the yeah. the Scout? The APC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... It's kind of small. No. That thing's heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. Yeah. It does. Uh, this is like a bad section right here. Yeah, it is. I tip, I tip my truck over in the same place. My Kate, the twin steer. Uh, I'm gonna have to go down into the marsh. I think. I need to find metal beams. Huh? Oh yeah, this thing. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, give me a boost. <laughs> Whoa! Oh god. Okay, don't drown me. Just a boost would be nice. <laughs> Stupid train. We'll come back and get the Ken Kenworth later. So. So. It does this crafting zone it says metal beams and storage zone says metal rolls hmm. does that mean it turns rolls into beams or beams into rolls you almost have to go there to find out that's a great question good job Michael wow high paying jobs here jeez Do, 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 do. I'm taking my train for a walk. It had to go potty. Good train. Who's a good train? I think what they should have done is they should have had you tow the train back, repair it, and then use it to tow a load out. That would be awesome. You know. <laughs> Train horn. The momentum doesn't take it very far. No, but it does help you keep it going, though. Because remember, you don't want to go too fast. Yeah, Whoever I've got my truck. That advice was very correct. I can't. I'm keeping it in low. Oh god, it's going to crush me. <laughs> it's like a piston. Yeah. Okay, I need to get on the other side of this here. Come on, work your way over. No! Okay, we're going to disconnect here and reconnect. There we go. 
Okay, you don't repair the train, but you do send it away. That's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. You can throw it up there. <laughs> Funk! Hey, those trains are from Uwu. All right, let me pull out. All right, let's go rescue the Kenny. Hey, they killed Kenny. Big, big pay missions. That is cool. I like the background sounds. It's like, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we could just recover, but what's the fun in that? Yeah, this Paystar, the only weakness the Paystar has is its puny little gas tank. That's my biggest complaint with the Paystar. <laughs> Everything else is great, but it's... It is puny. Yeah. It does have it's a pretty a short range. Pad. Yep. Yeah, it's a gas hawk. But it is, as, it is more flexible than the Twin Steer. Um, I don't know if it's the best truck in the game, but... No. Ooh, ten wheel drive. There's a pretty good argument for that. <laughs> no, it's the fuel. That fuel knocks it down yeah. a lot. Could you? That truck is really expensive to use in hardcore. Oh yeah, good point. Very expensive, but you know every truck's got to have a weakness. Right. You know, the... it's decent. It's decent power. It's not the best, but it's decent power. Right. Unlike hardcore, where it costs you a bazillion dollars. He said the fun part is that you don't have to... It doesn't cost any money to recover. I still yeah. want to rescue the truck before I recover it, though, but... Okay. Have a good evening, Didi. See you next time. <sighs> Come on. Oh, Jaywa. Thank you, Jaywa. Train tracks is dangerous. <laughs> All right. Let's go attach winch to there. <laughs> uh trying to get it to go. It's weird how it's doing that. I don't understand the why it's trying to go that way. Um, okay. Man, I'm having an Arthur moment. What's that supposed to mean? I picked the, uh, I picked the way to get here, and it's not working out. It's not working out. That's. Oh, I guess that is kind of an Arthur moment, well, isn't it? Can't that, argue that. <laughs> you went the wrong way, or you flipped it over. Any of those yep. could be that. I did all way. those. I did all three of those. Oh. Jeremy the Jet Plane. I've also got Jeremy the Wah. Welcome to the channel, Jeremy. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. Uh, <laughs> he said, nice name. No. Where is the other way? Is that JJ the Jet Plane? Is that what that's from? My kids used to watch that all the time. It was like Thomas, but computerized. Okay, so I would say that's recovered. We don't need to mess around in the swamp anymore. 
Recover. Yep, and then we're going to grab the paid star, and we're going to recover this. Life easy. Leave garage. Okay. Um, so, do you want me to help you out uh, with the um, Javius with the railroad sections? Sure. Do we have any idea how many rail sections it's going to make from one load of wood and beams? I do not know. Um, start tracking. Oh my lord, there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Six, I believe. Okay. So I'm taking two metal rolls over to where I can turn it into beams. And where are you getting these metal rolls? I got those. We passed each other. You were on the tracks and I was on the road next to it. Okay. Um. So, that's where do they? Uh, I guess what I'm asking is where do I pick the the rolls up? Um. I think there's another. There's more rolls at the factory I'm going to. The rolled steel I've, factory. Yeah, I've only taken. There's I've one. Taken or lumber to the rail production. There's eight metal rolls at the storage zone. Okay. And they need to go where? To the rail production plant? No. They need I need beams. Steel beams. So we take the rolls and make them beams. Okay, so I need to grab these eight, as many of these rolls as I can bring, and bring them up to you, correct? From where? Good job, Micah. Uh, from the rail yard. Not the rail yard, but the train station where I just delivered the train. No, I just picked up the two rolls from there. There's eight in there. There's eight more. Okay. They're at the what's called the it's called the hangar A is what they're calling it. Yes. And <laughs> Jerry said, "Where's the so beam beams wow. become rolls?" He's Jerry Wa is saying that beams become rolls. It's no. not no rolls become beams. beams. Right, because when you get steel out of a factory, it comes out in rolls. And it takes two rolls to make one metal beams. Okay. Which... Ouch. So if you bring three... There's Ouch. a metal roll in storage over here, so that'll make two more... Okay, I see. Metal beams. Wait, what's this? Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to get there. Okay. Oh, I just drove on the railroad tracks. Oh, okay. It's much, much faster. Hey, Scania. They won the first part of their protest? Oh, that's good. That. What was it? I'm not... I have to go look again. I, I, I knew what it was about, and I forget now. Wasn't it about, like, disposal of slurry and stuff like that? Like, their... The restrictions are becoming too difficult for the farmers, and they're like, listen, like, if you want us to produce, like, you got to let us do this. Oh, over in uh, Europe? Yeah, what is going on with that? Yeah, good. Good for them farmers. Oh, I saw a video today of uh, environmentalists saying that farming is the greatest, doing the greatest harm to the climate, and we need to stop all farming. Yeah, I know. They're so stupid. Oh, God. I'm like, 
even if you're vegan, you need farms. Yeah. People are waking up. People are waking up slowly. Uh, yeah, but there's more science to that too. I saw I saw a farmer once again. I wasn't paying close attention, but he kind of refuted the whole thing about the cows because he's like, "Look, like plants need exactly. the gas that the cows produce. Like they need it to grow. So if you don't have the cows producing the gas, you don't have the plants." <laughs> right. And you can also think oh, right when fed wrong, you can make too. it worse. But. As like an example, how many buffalo were in the plains in the United States? <laughs> I like it. Why waste? Why waste the land farming when you could just get food from the store? Yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> that is unfortunately pretty much the way they think. All right, I need to pick up. Where is the pickup zone here? I, I missed it. Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, that's funny. And, and correct, they're, if they're fed wrong, they can produce the wrong kinds of gases. But if they're fed properly, they produce gas that is not harmful to the environment. But actually can be beneficial. Yes, we do, Jay. There's lots of bison. I don't, th I don't think they're endangered. Not anymore. No, but there are. There's all there. But the bison are definitely not gone. No, what I'm saying though is, there used to be millions of bison in the plains. Oh right, right. You know what I mean? Millions. How much? How many? How many times do you think a bison farts in a day? You know. Right. <laughs> this this whole idea that methane is is you know killing the planet is ridiculous. All right, I have uh, my steel rolls ready. So this can only carry three. I thought it carried more. What's up, Joe Mama? Pass this so, Javius, you said you just take the rails out, right? Yes. Don't they make you tip? These are tippy. Tippy tippy. And this truck would be a monster in the start of the game. Which one are you running, Micah? The, the Ken. It's expensive though, but not. It's actually cheaper yeah. than some of the other trucks. Like, I think it's one hundred and twenty-four thousand to buy the base, which. If you look at some of the other trucks that are in the same class, they're 180, 190. So yeah, it's actually fairly. The tires it comes with is a phenomenal. Yeah, right, they don't really have so, to change. Arthur. And, yes. You you want to turn behind me to get to the road? Okay, like where you just came in. Yep. <laughs> don't tip. Forty four got his I don't know if you guys saw on his page, forty four put stuff on the gaming or on my gaming page. He's been building a guitar called the um the Charcaster. He got a uh he got a, a Stratocaster body that, that um he charred with a uh blowtorch and then finished over it. And it looks amazing. He got his pick guard in today and put it on and the guitar like I wish I could get one. Like it is, it's so cool looking. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, that guitar, his guitar looks phenomenal. He did an amazing job. Arthur, when you get to the road, did you turn right? I did. Yes. Okay. There you go. Oh, you got it all wired. Yep. Yeah, as far as the bridge piece, so you're feeling like the bridge piece isn't lining up right? I'm not sure what you do with that. Oh, crops. <laughs> we'll have to bring our tractor in and start growing stuff. <laughs> now, we're still on the same series. Sorry, Joe Mama. <laughs> 
support Jomo. He wants to join. We're still doing the same series. Sorry. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll make a plan. You said for flip's sake. Uh, I will make a plan for us to do. Um, gosh, a snowrunner open session. Uh, let's shoot. Let's shoot for next Monday, okay, Joe Mama? And I will. I'll open it up, and we can do like a, a viewer. A viewer. You could always do instead of Peggy Farm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, dude, we'll do, we'll do it. Well, I'll I'll get the parts for it, and you can make it. Like we'll we'll do it because that, like I've been hemming and hawing on the, uh, like looking at Warmoth. I can't afford it now, but eventually I would like to do that forty four for sure. It looks so good, and I love stuff like that. In fact, there was a guy that I I met. Uh, his name was Roscoe Meeks. He's a guitar player. He does a lot of a lot of, a lot of session music and stuff. Really good guitar player, and he had a an an Ibanez. Let's see. One cargo left. I want to put these into yeah. He um, he took an Ibanez and made um, he burned it with a blowtorch with the pickups on and everything. It looked all melted oh. and stuff, and it looked really cool and it played great and it looked really cool. But he just like <laughs> blew blowtorch the whole front end of it. It looked like a snakeskin. It was really cool. All right, I'm going to. I've made two metal beams. I'm going back to get more rolls. Oh, sorry. It's coming in around you. Yep. I'm just going to hold here. Uh, Roger that. This is Paystar 2 Lima Golf reversing. Exiting factory. Over. Do, 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 do. When you say full now, just so you know, forty four, unless you buy a specific floating bridge, um, you are if it's lined up all right, like left to right. It'll only go forward. It will not go backwards. Uh, that's called hardtail. If you get a floating bridge or you set it uh, the way that you set the springs, you're going to um, let it float forward a little bit and then set the springs there. So when the guitar is tuned, the bridge, the, the bridge will actually be up off the body a little bit. Then it can go forwards and backwards. That's how a strat bridge works. Um, I always hardtail mine because I don't like it going out of tune. It's 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 much more prone to go out of tune if it's if it's um if it's not hardtailed. So I usually just hardtail mine. I, I tighten the springs down and let it sit against the guitar body. Um. So there's and there's a several different bridges that you can buy too. Um. I forget what the one is. My son Ryan's putting one on on his next guitar, but it's there's a, like a two hundred dollar bridge that you can buy that allows you to do like whammy bar technique stuff without um, having the guitar go out of tune. But it still, once again, only goes forward. It does not go back, so you can't raise pitch. You can only lower pitch. So I hope that that makes sense. But you, what you've done is you've hardtailed it, which is fine. Um, so I'm assuming it only goes forward and not back. Correct. Yep. So look, do some research on it. You'll have to read about how to set it to hardtail or how to make it so you can go forwards and backwards um, or down and up so that you can pitch up and pitch down. And be aware when you do that, it does. it is going to put the guitar out of tune. That's one of the problems with the Stratocaster. It doesn't. That's why they made that whole crappy locking tremolo system, which I absolutely hate. But if you want to do dive bombs and Eddie Van Halen style, like with your guitar, you got to have a locking tremolo on it, which just means that the guitar is going to last about five years and then needs to be have everything replaced because those tremolos suck. They're a maintenance nightmare. 
but they do they are fun to play. Yeah, I'm a little nervous because the storm here is going to hit like in the middle of the night. Um, I might just, I don't know, I might just stay up tonight. We'll have to see. Because if it's, if it's hitting Chicago... Brian, Mark, you want to play some Helldivers? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think my wife said she might play some Truck Sim with me later, so... Ooh. I've got the last roll, Javius. So I'm like, yeah. Hot date tonight. <laughs> Wilson makes good bridges. There's nothing wrong oh with that. Oh, Mike. Arthur. Yes. Four wooden planks and two metal beams make one rail section. And we need five? Six. Six. Oh, Lord. Oh, you're playing Minecraft now? Yeah, but you said you played Truck Sum with me later. Uh, I, I don't know on stream. We'll see. I think we'll probably just be hanging out because we need husband-wife video game time. So does that mean we need more metal beams or more uh, more metal rolls? You're going to need five. We're going to need five more or no. Okay, babe. We're going to need 10 more metal beams, which is going to be 20 rolls total. 20 rolls. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, so where can we get rolls from, then? I have no idea. We just <laughs> got them from the places I knew. Micah, are you on this map or on the, old, the first map? I'm on the first map. Can you I'm on the last path. Can you poke around a little bit and see if there's any rolls on that map, like a steel roll manufacturing or anything like that? I think, I think we have to use the gas turbine to make. I went the wrong way. Make them, but I will. Okay, okay. All right, let's see here. Good job, Micah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think this is the station that makes them. Open. Oh, I need to end the YouTube video. We've already got an hour. My gosh, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, we will pick up right where we left off. You guys want to say bye? Bye. Night. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out all the SnowRunner content. I got millions of videos out there, <laughs> including all the stuff that we've done is in the main SnowRunner. But then I also have a Tamir playlist and I think a Wisconsin. I need to actually go through my playlists, but there are several different SnowRunner playlists under my name. So if you look Arthur Chapman playlists, I'll try to, by the next time you come here, I'll, I'll try to mix the other ones in and put them all together in order because <laughs> we're kind of or, out of order on some of these. Anyway, we'll figure it all out. But be sure to check out the other SnowRunner content. And we also have MudRunner, Spin Tires, lots of stuff to, for you guys to watch. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye.